All right, internet. I think it's time we had this conversation. And the uh, item for discussion is why the firearm and tactical industry sucks so hard right now. <laughs> um, there are a lot of reasons. And uh, one of the biggest reasons is that people are buying everything up uh, with the intent to sell it for a profit because they're literally going to buy it until it goes out of stock and then post it for a massive premium and tell you that, hey, well, you can't find it in stock anywhere else. So uh, people are doing this with everything. Um, and it started out with ammo a year ago. Uh, when COVID hit, everybody started freaking out and started panic buying. So what people are doing, and I see it pretty much every single day, I mean, I'm loaded on ammo, uh, no pun intended. I haven't, uh, I've been lucky enough to have gotten all the ammo that I wanted to have uh, pretty early on. And I mean, back when I'm paying 16, 17 cents a round for nine millimeter and 26 cents a round for uh, 223, all brass cased. So I see people with their entire families basically camping out in front of Bass Pro and uh, Cabela's and Academy and other sporting goods stores waiting for them to open so they can go in and each person, each member of that family is gonna go in and buy their fill of uh, ammo. Their, the maximum quantity that they will allow you to buy, whether it's two boxes, whether it's five boxes, they're gonna go in and they're gonna buy their fill each and then turn around and sell it on a local gun listing website uh, like Texas Gun Trader, Arms List, uh, Tax Swap. And so <clears throat> they pay fairly normal prices, but then they're buying it all up. You know, several families will do that. Everybody that's camped out there is camped out there for a reason. They want to be able to go in there and get their fill and go make some money on the side. Uh, granted, there are probably a few people scattered throughout there that, uh, actually just want some ammo to go shoot um but these people buy it until it's gone and do that same thing where they just post the ammo for twice what they paid for it and say well you can't find it in stock anywhere else um, people are signing up for alerts for absolutely everything so ammo was the one item that really kind of kicked off this entire uh avalanche that we're seeing happening and it's happening with everything else as well. So you'll see it on T-Rex Arms website where people will get notifications um, for some of his plate carriers or body armor, and then they'll go in, and especially if it's a limited run plate carrier or item that uh, Lucas has talked about, people are gonna go in there, they're gonna buy as many as they can, and uh, once that stuff sells out within minutes, then they go and post it on eBay once they actually get it in. Post it on eBay for, you know, 100, 200% markup. So uh, it's happening with absolutely everything. So we got firearms, gear, ammo, parts. It's happening with everything. So I think LMT either slowed down their production or uh, stopped their production, but LMT weapons and parts are apparently harder to get right now. Uh, and now I'm seeing bolts, just a bolt, a 5.56 bolt, their enhanced bolt, selling for $400, $500 online. That's ridiculous. Uh, people are doing the same thing with Knight's Armament. They'll go out, uh, they'll sign up for Let's see, uh, they'll sign up on Brownells and a couple other websites. Places that get fairly frequent uh, shipments of Knight's Armament, their SR-15s and SR-25s. So people are going there and they'll buy an, uh, an SR-15 for 2,500 bucks and then turn around and sell it on Tax Swap or Gun Broker or somewhere else for like $4,000, $5,000. Um, so, 
the reason everything is overpriced right now isn't because um, all of the manufacturers have decided that, hey, we're gonna raise our prices because demand is high. No, demand is high because there's a bunch of assholes going out there and buying up everything so they can make a buck. And I get it, the free market, I'm for capitalism, I'm all about that, but it's really just everybody screwing everybody else over. And that's something that I've seen big time ever since uh, the pandemic uh, first occurred, is that everyone has just been an absolute piece of shit to everybody else. And people are finding it easy to make money. So they're gonna go out, buy everything, create this massive demand when there really isn't. Um, they're just buying more than they need so they can go and make some money. So that is why the gun industry and tactical industry and parts and everything, that's why all of this just sucks completely. It's because of a bunch of assholes that are going out there, buying more than they need with the intent to sell it and make money on places like local gun listing websites, eBay, gun broker, tax swap. So that is what's going on. It's not that there is a shortage. Manufacturers are, are keeping up with what would be a normal demand, but people are buying more than they need so they can sell it. And what this does is increases the prices that we're seeing with the retailers and because of that, people think the price is just gonna keep going up, which it might, um, when you have all these people buying out, you know, thousands and thousands of boxes from one retailer in a matter of minutes, especially if they're online, um, the prices could keep going up. So many of my friends are still in the dark about why ammo is so expensive. Why can't I find any? Why? It, why is nine millimeter all of a sudden $45 for a box? Well, because you have people going out, buying more than they need, trying to make a bunch of money while demand is high. And, and if we go back and look at it, there wasn't really a spike in demand. What happened is people are used to certain things happening during elections and they went out and just started panic buying. A few people went out and started panic buying. So when normal people would go to the store and try to get, you know, a box for their range trip that day, it sold out. Like, huh, that's weird. So then they go to another store, sold out. Oh my God, I need to try and track down some ammo. Where's it all going? So then that creates this perpetual cycle of people camping out really desperate just to get a single box of ammo, but they can't because this one asshole with his wife and three 30 year olds who all live at home and then their girlfriends and all these people go in, they camp out like an hour before Academy opens up, they all go in, they each buy their limit and then they turn around and sell it on a local gun listing website. And they're not even using that ammo. That's the thing that sucks. So the people that actually need it, to use it, to train, to get better, to learn how to survive the fight, they can't get it. Because these assholes are trying to make money. And so one thing that I've seen on my local uh, listing website, Texas Gun Trader, is that a lot of people who have, uh, who are posting these items for astronomical amounts have brand new accounts. They're posting uh, Google voice numbers. They don't want people to know that, hey, I've been on here for a long time, but now I'm kind of screwing everybody over. I don't want people to know that I'm that same guy. So it, it's really a bunch of cowards. Um, I see it happening pretty bad, or actually it was really bad with uh, the rare breed trigger and hi it was happening really bad with the rare breed trigger i mean these things were going for over 1200 bucks um i actually listed one 
I bought two because I thought, if hey man, if, if this is really cool, then I'll run it. Uh, but I ran into problems with mine, so I never even opened the second one. So I decided to list it on GunBroker. I put it as an auction style, starting at one penny, no reserve, no buy it now. Um, and it went up to $485. But I'm not setting a price. I'm not saying, hey guys, you need to pay $800 for this $380 trigger. People just get to do what they want uh, in that setting. Um, so I've seen it with the AC1 uh, T-Rex Arms plate carriers. People will go and buy them for a set amount and then post them on eBay uh, as soon as they receive it for twice the amount. So. I don't see any of this going away anytime soon because people are enjoying making that money. They're enjoying price gouging people. Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of scalpers out there right now and I'd say probably 75% of the money that is being funneled into the gun industry from the civilian market is people that are trying to make money off of what they're buying. Um, so, it is what it is, but this is why the gun industry and tactical industry sucks right now. And that is the truth. I've seen it happening all around me. It's been happening for an entire year. Um, and people are desperate to get ammo because they think there's a shortage that scalpers created. So they created the demand and now they're the only ones that have the supply. So they're scalping everybody for it but it is what it is guys